Hello there everybody, this is Graham, also known as The Collector 75, and welcome to another Transformers review. For this one, I am doing World's Smallest Optimus Prime and Megatron, uh, part of the Versus X set, uh, which I believe came with a hobby magazine um, quite a few years ago now. I can't actually remember when these came out, maybe it's got a year on here. Um, nope, not that I can see, but I'm pretty certain it was about six, seven years ago, something like that. As you can see, this is the magazine it came with, Hobby Magazine, in Japan. And of course, in Japan, he's called Convoy. And he's a Cybertron, and Megatron, of course, is a Destron. In the original Versus X set, I believe that Megatron did come with the actual... No, it came with the unchromed body and the red legs, I believe, if you're up on your collecting. Um, and that interests you. Uh, yeah, so anyway, this is, um, I, I remember I actually got two of these. I bought one, and then a mate of mine couldn't shift a load of them, and he just gave me an extra set, and then I put, put it on eBay um, about, about a year later and got 20 quid for it, which can be bad. Uh, right, so this is what we get. This is the, I think these, I only got a few of the world's smallest ones. I didn't actually get too many. Um, can't remember why, I probably just couldn't be bothered. Um, I didn't pick up an Optimus Prime or a Megatron, but I got the set because these were a little different. Uh, I can't remember the differences between the Optimus Prime, uh, which I'm going to show you first. This is him in his little truck mode. Uh, it does come with a tiny little weapon. You're not going to really be able to see it. This is actually about an inch and a half long. And whereas this one, the engineering is fairly simplified, Megatron over there, I think, is absolutely brilliant. Let me just transform this guy for you. It's quite simple. You just pull the, the actual, all the wheels move and everything. Um, flip his little feet down. And then we just basically pull out the arms. Really helps, I suppose, if you have a pair of tweezers handy, because some of these parts are so small, and you can't actually get your fingers in, get the bloody arms out. Oh, there we go. If I just pull the bloody arms out, I'll probably get a come out, come out, you fucker. Right, here we go, there we go. Got the little arms out. They can be a little pain in the ass because they are quite tiny. And then we just flip over the little Optimus Prime head. There we are. And I believe this guy's got yellow eyes for some reason. He's got a little bit of a loose foot there. Uh, but that is Optimus Prime in robot mode. And he's not doing much. He's got quite a good bit of arc. Well, actually, he hasn't. I thought they did move at the, <laughs> the shoulder, but they don't. Uh, but they'll move. He's got a little ball joint on his elbow there. And that moves. The legs are pretty stuck as much as you're going to get there. I don't really like the Optimus Prime figure. I think this is one of the original ones that really did put me off it, if I'm honest. But he will hold his gun like that. And, you know, for what it was, it was okay. Like this one. This one never really sold me, if I'm honest. I'm going to put Optimus Prime over there. The better one of this set was the Megatron. I never picked up the original Megatron, and I believe the original one did come with the red legs inside. Uh, they just made this a different, as a bit of a homage to the original Japanese release. Uh, now, let me just get you a size comparison for this guy. I've got my original Generation 1 Japanese release, in fact, uh, Megatron with me here. So we can have a bit of a size comparison. There we are. As you can see, the original is what, I don't know, about five, four, five times? Three, four times maybe the size of this guy. And when you consider that this guy has almost exactly the same transformation, I think I think that is actually a damn good bit of engineering. Uh, it's extremely fiddly, so we're going to have a bit of a laugh with this. It's actually, it looks so realistic. You're going to take off that telescopic sight because that looks, I always find that looks a bit silly unless you've got all the other gun attachments. So I wish I'd made some world's smallest gun attachments for this guy because he comes with the, um, don't know if he's going to zoom in too well on that. Does he? It does come with the other, what's that, the attachment part for it. So you could have put some other bits on there. But as far as I know, they didn't. I don't know exactly if they did or not. But it's still a very, very good little gun mode, actually. Right, to transform it. It's almost exactly the same as original Generation 1 Megatron, only if, if anything, it's even more fiddly. Because now you've got to extend the little legs like that. Uh, you've got to flip out the little feet. Now you're going to move bits on this, and then they're going to not stay exactly where they should be. As you can see, you're going to start moving these legs forward. Uh, these should have been a little bit longer, if you want my opinion. Because when, when he's in robot mode, the, the legs do look a little off. Not like the original Generation 1 Megatron. And they don't stay there too well. So anyway, we're going to hope for the best. Flip down the little robot head that is pegged in there. Open up these little robot arms. I'm going to do my best here, but this is a pain. 
to say the bloody least. There you go. If you can separate the arms, you're doing well because from what I remember the other day when I was transforming this, because I haven't transformed it for quite a while, bits just do not want to stay. As you can see, his legs don't really want to stay where they're going. Just want them to flop about all over the place. The arm joints are just carefully just held on there, as you can see. Not too well, so you've got to be careful how you transform it. Uh, I can't get that hands out because they're just tucked away in there. Oh, I'd need a proper pair of tweezers and I don't have it up here handy right this minute. So anyway, we're going to rotate bloody hell, we're gonna rotate the arms around like that, get them into position. Then on here, we, just, we don't uh, raise that chest section anymore. We just sort of like flip it around. Then we get the gun out and then we just carefully rotate it around into position. Then we just have to hope that everything decides to want to stay where I've just put it. As usual, it probably won't. Then we raise this up, flip it into position. That's my watch you can hear banging on the table. And there we have it. You can extend his arms, but they usually just want to go back into... Oh, there we go. And as I say, they don't really stay there. Nothing clicks into place or anything like that, probably because it is such a small one. But when you think about the engineering that went into this guy, because he's very, very tiny, he is, I mean, like I say, if they had done it, that uh, joint just on the inside of the legs there to make him make the legs a little bit more forward, he wouldn't look so strange looking, if you want my opinion. Um, I don't think you can move that, that section back. That would have been quite good. Um, you can put his gun back on his arm. There we go, and then put his arm down like that. You can get hands out, it probably makes him look a lot better. Uh, but that is Megatron in robot mode, and it, it's all right. It's far too fiddly, not, not something you would want to play with. If you can spend half an hour trying to sort out, making sure bits are in the right place, he looks all right. But as it is, I mean, it's, a, it's one of these things, I admire the engineering that went into making it, but should they have bothered? <laughs> I don't know. Um, if you want a good one that is actually almost, well, it's a bit bigger than this, is the Legends Megatron, the gen Generation 1 version. That is probably one of the best Megatrons I think you're ever going to get. Um, but it's all right. It has a few problems that I wish they could have sorted out, but unfortunately they didn't. Uh, if you can find these, if you're interested in these guys and you can find them for a cheap price, then get them. But if not, I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry too much about them. Uh, but it's actually they're actually very good, but just a shame that this guy just doesn't hold together a bit better in robot mode um, Let me just get you a size comparison between him and Optimus Prime And there they are, they're all right. I mean, you know as oddities. That's what I would call quite classy things There are some quite good world smallest. I, I do have thrust. I think I think that's the only other one I might have sound wave as well um, But they're okay. There we go. You finally got to stand up Right, this has been Graham the Collector 75, and I shall see you all next time. Bye for now.